we don't we don't normally fish on boats too often, but we do have a friend who has a boat, and when I do have the opportunity, it's always a lot of fun to go out and see what you can catch. And today I think we're going to be doing some bottom fishing, and I love bottom fishing. We've got a lot of different kinds of baits, and the tide is right. Let's see if we can get any fish. Okay, so we're here at our spot today, at this uh, little shrimping dock. We're meeting our friend Ben, and he's taking us out on his boat to do some bottom fishing. I love bottom fishing. I'm, I'm really ready. Does this look lame or look good? I like it. Yeah. Uh, I think we're getting on that boat right there. It's called the Dusty. Center possible here. That's a right there. That was a lot of little fish down there, but we're going out to the bigger water, right? To, to the jetties. There's a nice jetty. It's about a 30 minute ride out there, but the water gets a lot deeper there. The water's bigger. I think there's gonna be some nice big fish. than it normally does. This is the jetty we're trying to fish at right here. And if you look at it on the map, it's right at the opening of an inlet between the ocean and the bay. So this is a really good spot to intercept some fish. I think he just lowers it. He said no. He just drops it. He just drops it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll put that down. Not that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hope that anchor holds. Let's get fishing for now. I've got two different kinds of bottom rigs right now. We've got we've got a Carolina rig and we've got a high-low rig. One of them is tied with um, a four-ounce egg sinker and the other one is tied with a pyramid sinker. This one is our catch-all rig right here, which is tied with 20-pound line, two odd hooks. I've got glow floats on this one. I'm going to try this one with some cut shrimp, maybe some salted baits on this one. And the other one we're going to use some live shrimp. You got something? All right, he's already on some fish. What'd you use? Sure. Big spot. Croker. Croker. Just for, for our bait. bass fishing in later. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tie on a high low rig first. Here are the nice parts of the bait boxes. I got fresh shrimp in this one, salted shrimp in this one, but like, it won't get damaged in here. It, it's protected, fully protected. So now I've got fresh shrimp in here and a pack of ice. You see that? This is how I transport my bait. So I'll take a piece of fresh shrimp, I'll take a piece of salted clam. Okay. So I'll put a little piece of clam, put some shrimp together. Another piece of clam. And let's bait up. Okay, so these floats will keep the bait kind of floating around. It'll also glow in a low light situation. Putting on some of the clam. Putting on some of the shrimp here. 
These are both like really great bottom baits here. Shrimp and clam. All right. Push that fish, maybe I'll do this side over there. So now, since the water's moving so fast this way, you don't want to cast it out that way. You want to cast it so that by the time it hits the bottom, it's kind of in front of you. Deep, it's deep. Yeah, I'm on the bottom now. And now we just wait. Black shrimp. Fish bait, cut it up. So we're doing shrimp and the clammy bits same time. Catfish. This is a catfish. So I'm doing a combination of salted baits and a dead bait, fresh dead bait. Since there's a lot of little fish down there. And the thing about bottom fishing is you never really know what you're gonna catch. Like, there's so many random fish out there that will eat bait off the bottom. That's mullet chasing, getting fish right there. Right there, you see him? Oh, it's a big catfish. <laughs> nah. Okay, we got a lot of little small fish now. We got croaker, catfish, croaker, and more catfish. <laughs> We're gonna try somewhere different, um, using some of the small fish, using some of more of the baits that we have already because we're looking for something a little bit bigger than croaker. So we're moving spots a little bit further down. Maybe we'll find them there. Bottom, and let's wait. Oh, 
Snapped everything. Yeah, that's a wreck. Snapped everything. Yeah. Shoot. That was a croaker head? That was a croaker head, yeah. Pull the tail. That's a, that's a tail, man. I don't know. Come on, man. I got a whole cocoa in here, guys. Come on. <laughs> This one. Ooh, nice croaker. Croak. We're gonna use this guy's tail for bait. Yep, croak and croak. So not much is biting on that big ride right now. I have a big croaker out on there. Um, I'm gonna just fish this rock, these rocks right here using a float rod. This float will kind of float my bait over top of all the rocks so I won't get it caught. As I do this, you're gonna keep an eye out on those big rods. Maybe the big one will get hit as I fish this. This one I'm using live shrimp. See that? Casting it right by these rocks. Big mangrove. Look at that. You were right. It was on the Come here and flow here, Dad. Oh, it's fat. Look at that. It's a fat mangrove. That's definitely a keeper, definitely a keeper one. Wow. All the way on the bottom. Croker, huh? the biggest redfish I've ever seen. <gasps> Holy right. cow. All right. sure. To the tip, the tail, 41. 41. Too big, man, you cannot keep it. Too damn big, you gotta let it go. Oh, pick the picture. Pick the picture. Oh. My, my fish, Ooh. my bending, my That's fish, your right? fish, that's my your fish, fish, right? Yeah, my that's daddy's fish. There you go. He oh, always say that it's his fish when oh, I caught the fish when I fly. Well, yeah. This is the size, same size as the one you got in, in North Carolina. Oh my God, look at this guy. Woo. What happened? Oh my goodness. Come on guys, put another tail out. All right, come on. I did, I did. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to release him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. When you're reviving big fish, you want to make sure that it can kick away first before you just let it go. Because if you let it go right away, it's so tired, a shark might come up and eat it. So let it heal first. Right? Okay. 
let it rest for a second. Because if I let go, look, it'll turn like this. You want it to be able to recover first. But look, it already got bitten in his back. Wow, very red one too. That just saved our day. Last second, we were putting out these croakers. We missed the first one. Came back for the second one. Okay, look, see, kicking away. There you go. See? Let it kick away. Don't just drop it back in. Because if you just drop it back in, it's so tired from that fight, a shark might be waiting around, eat it right away. And if you're letting it go, you want it to go alive. How do you feel? I feel amazing. Thank you for taking us out, Ben. That red was about the size of my dad's big red in uh, that he hooked from the beach in North Carolina. If you guys haven't seen that video, I suggest you watch that one. There's nothing like hitting it from the surf, but hitting it on the it boat like this, has, it was really awesome because you don't have to worry about anything else around you. You don't have to worry about like getting snagged with a guy next to you or like a like a getting snagged on a um, piece of structure right there. Like this is just open water fishing right here. And when we're fishing the bottom like this, there's all sorts of fish you can catch. Someone else is gonna catch it this time. My arm's too tired. I'm gonna tie another circle hook on here. And we're just using these little... You don't need a massive hook. They like the tail specifically. I, I tried to throw the head earlier. They didn't want the head. They want the tail. Okay. See how I hooked it under the tail like that, leaving the hook still exposed. This sinker sits on the bottom, kind of rolls around down there. So the rigs that we were using today are already pre-tied. I, I made them a while ago. And you see how the hooks, the size of the hooks, the shape of the bullet floats, the size of the line, everything is custom made for myself and for you guys. Um, and I made this catch-all rig, designed it so that you can catch all sorts of different kinds of fish on it. Just slap it on your, your line, put some salty baits on it, put some fresh bait on it, put a sinker on it, and you're ready to fish right away. So these are really great just bottom bait starter kits right here. Just get some of this, get yourself an all-in-one bait kit with a waterproof bait box, um, and you're ready to get on some fish. Besides just the, the catch-all rigs, I also have um, these floats that I sell individually that you can put on the end of your Carolina rig, you can tie onto your own, and this attracts fish. I mean, just look at the color, look how electric this color is. Fish see it and they, it gets their attention real quick, then they smell the bait and they want to take it. This is a really great little pack of floats that you can just attach these floats onto your hooks, onto your lines. I've got this color and I've got glow right now. So we, we will always have different colors, so check those out. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Damn it. They're still there. No, I probably took my hook. Oh hey. no, it didn't hook in. Damn it. No, straight my hook, I'm sorry. Oh no, oh, look at that. Take everything. Did the broke it. Broke it? Did the bigger... That happened to me too. The first one, I, I lost it. Now he's going to put a bigger hook. I think I gave him a smaller two, a hook that was a little small. I don't know. But it, it looked like it straightened it, didn't it? It broke it. It, it snapped it, huh? It broke. The fish was too big for it. There we go. Don't let it go. <laughs> don't let it go. That one's bigger than mine.
Sure. Oh. Oh. It's a big ray. <laughs> Cut the line. Don't even bring it in. Cut the line. Uh, <laughs> Boom, you could have been in the first yeah. time too. That's a massive ray. Oh my god. That is aw that's huge. Oh my goodness. home baby. <laughs> Be good. Got a lot of bites. All sorts of different fish. Small, big, everything in between. The key with bottom fishing is being able to find the correct weight so it's not so heavy. The lightest weight you can go without getting snagged, without getting washed away. And we had to kind of play around with the weights during different tides. The water will be faster, it will be slower. Um, you have to kind of adjust your weights to the speed of the ocean. The catch all rig that we were using was awesome to catch the bait that we were using. Like, you know, honestly, you can catch redfish on, on that same rig too. I'm surprised we didn't, but using the croaker, cutting it in half using the tail and putting it on this bigger bottom rig, this Carolina rig, uh, that worked out really well for us today. The same principles apply not just on a boat but on shore too. You can use the same rigs and the same principles in the, except just be from land. I want to give Ben a big thank you for taking us out on his boat. We always have a good time when we go fishing together and I hope you guys w enjoy watching our videos because we travel all over to, tr to do all sorts of different kinds of fishing. We document what we learn and we share with you guys so that you can catch them yourself. Here at Hey Skipper, we want to make it easy for you to get on fish yourself. Not just watch us catch fish. We want to make sure that you know you are equipped with the knowledge so that next time you get out there, you can be catching fish just like us. If you want a really great beginner starter kit, like if you're just starting getting into bottom fishing or just getting into fishing in general, we sell this all in one bait box right here. You see, I keep all my baits in here, my salted baits, my fresh baits, and it keeps it from getting squished. It's perfect. I also have the uh, catch-all rigs. I think you should get yourself an uh, all-in-one kit and maybe four or five um, of those bottom catch-all rigs, and you're set to go fishing for the entire like for an entire trip. Like this bait lasts a really long time, and if you take care of your rigs um, and you don't throw them near too many rocks, those rigs will last a while too. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week.